What's happening everybody? Trey here, joined as always by my dad Sean, and today reactions to the classics. We got a reaction to Karen Dalton and her tune, Something on Your Mind. This comes courtesy of a suggestion from our longtime supporter and friend here of the channel, Paul. So as always, Paul, appreciate you and the suggestions you bring us, and I'm looking forward to this. Don't know anything about uh, Karen Dalton. Uh, never heard any of her tunes, man, but kind of reading her stuff, I'm uh, looking... Uh, looking forward to diving into this one. Yeah, I agree. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Check out our Patreon link if you'd like us to react to a song, album, top 10, whatever. Uh, our patrons make this thing go. Trey, I never heard of her either. I saw that she played with Dylan a little bit in Greenwich. She came out with two albums. Never really saw a lot of commercial mm -hmm. success. Uh, this is off of her last album. Um, and, you know, she kind of faded away. Ended up with some drug problems and some stuff mm. like that. But... Uh, both Joanna Newsom and Nick Cave, who we've done a lot of stuff here on the channel for, cite her as an influence. I thought that oh, was pretty cool. cool. Yeah, this is the opening track from her record, In My Own Time. So uh, we'll uh, be curious to kind of hear hear yeah. the style we got here. We're going to have the lyrics pulled up on our respective computers. Uh, listen and enjoy the song and then give our thoughts after. So thank you again, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Something on your mind coming in from Karen Dalton here, a uh, opening track off of this record. Um, I I enjoy the instrumentation on this. Uh, I enjoyed the the organ kind of coming in at the end, uh, the, the strings and whatnot. 
Uh, you know, we're always honest here. I got to be honest. I was not feeling the vocals. On I this. was very taken aback when it first mm. started. I got used to it. Yeah, um, it same did, here. It just seemed like she was straining on everything. <laughs> but, you know, if she's in the folk genre. I mm. mean, you know, Bob Dylan doesn't have the world's greatest <laughs> voice. So I started to get more into what she was saying mm -hmm. instead of the voice. But I mean, it was reminded when she tried to sing too hard. I think it might have been easier to just stay yeah. in one in, in just one octave and just leave it at that. But, uh, you know, I think it's one of those things, probably the more you heard her, yeah, it, you it, wouldn't notice it. It was it. just, like it uh, just would become, a bit striking. It was very, <laughs> no, it was very striking at first, but I thought a well-constructed song with you as well arranged. The instrumentation mm -hmm. was really tight. So, uh, yeah. yeah, no. And I mean, I like my fair share of vocalists who, uh, you know, have unconventional voices, sure. uh, Bob I mean, Neal. Yeah. Tom, Tom. Uh, Leonard Cohen. I mean, among many others, yeah. Lou Reed. So, um, you know, so it, it might be a case where the more I hear her, yeah. it, it was just, a, you know, a little bit striking. That yeah, I first, agree with you. First time it came on, I was like, oh, this is going to be a little bit different. Um, but yeah, man, I enjoyed the, the lyrical um, kind of content as well. Um, and uh, just with the fact, uh, uh, you know, talking about, you know, didn't you know you can't make it without ever even trying and something's on your mind, isn't it? You kind of wonder, okay, what's on this person's yeah, mind? Yeah, exactly. Let these times show you that you're mm. breaking up the lines, leaving all your dreams too far behind. Didn't you see you can't make it without ever trying and something's on your mind, so she just kind of plays it out. Maybe another day mm -hmm. you want to feel another way. You can't stop crying. Um, mm. So a, a, a bit of a morose song at yes. certain points as well, but uh, yeah, man, the, the, I'll, be, I'll be curious to hear if she always sounds like this, or uh, or if this was just kind of a, on this tune, or, or what's the yeah, case? Yeah, you know? but never heard of her, so I'm glad that you uh, you brought it to us, Paul. All right, and let us know, y'all, what you think of this track down in the comment section below. Thank you again, Paul. Always, and, Paul. Thank and you. Until next time, we will see ya.